Hi, this is Helal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem on the producer surplus. The question is like this. The supply curve uh, for a commodity is given by that P is equal to under root of 9 plus X, where P is the price and X is the quanti quantity. And quantity sold is 7 units. The producer surplus will be the options are 28, 71 upon 3, 3 upon 10 or 10 upon 3. Okay. So let us see how to solve this. First, we need to find the formula for finding the producer surplus. Producer surplus is simply given by that is producer surplus is given by total revenue that is P into in, in case of here it is X. So I will write P into X total revenue minus the definite integral from 0 to equilibrium quantity that is X here. Okay. And the integral of the supply function our supply function is p dx okay this is the formula for producer surplus and you know what is the producer surplus it is simply the difference between the price uh, uh, firm receivers and the price it would be willing to sell it at okay or simply it is the definite integral from zero to equilibrium quantity okay and for, and we subtract it from the total revenue of the producer okay so this is simply the formula for finding producer surplus now coming to the question we have p is equal to uh, under root of 9 plus x so i will write small x uh, to make it more uh, visible and to differentiate it uh, with respect to this plus sign i am writing the small x okay so this is our price function now what is q sorry we have x is here 7 okay now what is our uh, price price is equal to uh, 9 plus the value of x is 7 so 9 plus 7 it comes out to be under root of 16 which comes out to be 4 okay we only take the positive square or you can write it like this 4 square uh, 4 square this gets cancelled and we are left with 4 okay so equilibrium price would be 4 now what would be our producer surplus so producer surplus is simply total revenue that is p into x which is the quantity here minus the definite integral from 0 to equilibrium quantity x and the integral of the supply function okay with respect to x okay so p into x let us give the values p is 4 x is 7 so we have 4 into 7 minus the definite integral from 0 to x the value of x is 7 okay what is our uh, demand function that is here uh, 9 plus x or we can write it like this 1 by 2 okay under root uh, we have used this very notation it is same thing to write it like this under root or to the power 1 by 2 okay so what does this come out to be 4 into 7 is 28 minus now differentiating this very sorry integrating this very function with respect to x so by power function rule if we have x to the power n it is uh, integration would be simply x x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 that is this exponent is uh, added with 1 and the resulting exponent is divided to this very term okay so using that very formula here so we have uh, 9 plus x whole power 1 by 2 plus 1 and this 1 by 2 plus 1 will also get divided here okay so we have definite integral from 0 to 7 okay now solving this will come out to be we have 28 minus okay we have to evaluate and uh, the uh, this very term first at the upper limit 7 and then subtract uh, the resulting uh, number and evaluating uh, further by this lower limit that is uh, lower limit is equal to 2 uh, 0 okay so first uh, evaluating at upper limit so we have uh let me first rearrange this to get it more um, easy for uh, calculation so i can write it like this 9 plus x we have 9 plus 
x uh, to the power uh, this is 1 plus 2 this comes out to be 3 by 2 divided by we have 3 by 2 here also okay 3 by 2 okay from 0 to 7 now this will come out to be 28 minus now evaluating at this upper limit we have 9 plus the value of uh, x is, uh, is 7 here so i will write 9 plus 7 whole power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 minus then evaluating at the lower limit so we have 9 plus in place of x we have 0 whole power uh, 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 okay so uh, let us write it here so we have 28 minus now 9 plus 7 equals 16 i guess so we have 16 uh, 16 divided by 3 by 2 okay and it is uh, 3 by 2 as exponent minus we have here 3 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 okay so which comes out to be 28 minus now uh, 16 can be written like this i can write in place of 16 as 4 square uh, 3 by 2 and we have divided by 3 by 2 also okay uh, minus now we have here 9 i forgot to write it so we have 9 and i can write 9 as 3 square raised power 3 by 2 whole divided by 3 by 2 okay now this square gets cancelled this gets cancelled so we have 4 4 are 16 4 are 64 so we are left with 28 minus uh, 64 64 uh, divided by 3 by 2 uh, minus 3 3 are 9 3 are 27 27 divided by 3 by 2 okay uh, let me write it somewhere to solve this so i will write here so we have 28 minus now 64 i sense that uh, numerator is same we can subtract with the denominator so 64 minus 27 will come out to be what it comes out to be uh, 14 minus 7 is 7 so i will write 7 now uh, 5 minus 2 is 3 okay this comes out to be 37 divided by 3 by 2 okay or it can be written like this 28 minus 37 by 1 and this uh, numerator uh, denominator gets reciprocated so we have 2 by 3 okay so when solving this will come out to be now 37 into 2 will come out to be 37 into 2 is so let me write like this 2 7 are 14 2 3 are 6 and 74 divided by 3 now what is uh, 3 into 28 3 into 20 3 are 24 now uh, 3 2 are 6 7 8 we have 84 minus 74 divided by 3 which comes out to be 10 by 3 okay so the correct option would be 10 by 3 is it here something yes here it is this very uh, thing is here so how do we solve this first we take the our demand function okay first we need to find the total expenditure total expenditure is price into x okay after that we use the formula for producer surplus that is total expenditure minus the definite integral from zero to equilibrium quantity and the inter integration of integral of the supply function and when we solve this will come out to be 10 by 3 okay so what does this graphically mean let me uh let me rub this graphically it simply means producer surplus is given by if it is our demand uh, sorry supply function and it is not uh, actually linear so let us write it like this uh, this is our supply function okay uh, our equilibrium price was four i guess uh, yes equilibrium price was four equilibrium quantity was seven okay the supply function is simply the area which is above 
the supply function and below the equilibrium price this very uh, this very area gives us the um, producer surplus i am very sorry for the background noises uh, i have no control on that so basically the sorry producer surplus is the area which is above the supply function and below the equilibrium price and this very part uh, this colored part shows as the producer surplus i hope i make myself clear thank you and sorry for this background noise